Dennis Cometto and Paula Ratcliffe. They've run the same roads, but traveled vastly different paths. Cometto is from the Rift Valley in Kenya, Radcliffe from a suburb of Liverpool, England. He began running after life as a farmer. She started running at the age of seven. He's at the peak of his career at age 31, and she's entering her final marathon at 41. But they do share one remarkable common bond, their world record marathon times. No two people have ever run 26.2 miles faster than Cometto or Radcliffe, and both world record holders will run in the 2015 London Marathon. 12 years after setting a women's marathon mark of 2 hours, 15 minutes and 25 seconds, Paula Radcliffe returns to the London Marathon slowed by age and injury. For me, is is so, so important and so special because it's kind of like where it all started, but so many years before I even ran here, it, it started coming down and just watching my dad and kind of seeing all of the atmosphere on Blackheath, feeling the anticipation, the dread of some of the, the runners and just the excitement building up there. As a pro, she's a three times winner of the London Marathon, three times the winner of the New York City Marathon, 2002 Chicago Marathon champ, world championship medalist. Radcliffe's resume is remarkable. Uh, I'm winning this, I feel great. I'm getting a great reception. I love this. I was already thinking, when am I gonna run another one? Um, and it really felt like, I think I found my event. And after giving birth to her second child, Radcliffe returned in 2011, only to have a foot injury prevent her from competing at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. What I always wanted to say was that when I finished my career, I wanted to be able to look back and say, I got the best out of myself, I achieved the best that I was capable of doing. And really I can do that. Uh, kind of the Olympics I can't say that. The Olympics in the marathon certainly. In the 10K I can say yeah I did, I, went, I just wasn't good enough for a medal on that day. Um, but the marathon is the only place in the Olympics that really I can look back over my career and say I wasn't able to go. Sometimes it took me a long time to get the best out of myself in the World Cross and, and things like that. Um, but I can say that for, for most of it. Meadow was discovered by Jeffrey Mutai. A relationship between the two blossomed over the years, and with Mutai's guidance, Kometo made the fastest marathon debut in history behind his close friend in Berlin in 2012. It's, my life is going changing after going up. Because I have a morel, I need to run like a Jeffrey. Kometo has been racing as a professional for only four years and never competed on the track. Kometo is the shyest athlete in his training group and he would much rather spend his time with family or going back to his farming roots than live the glamorous and rich life of a champion athlete. Uh, for me, I like uh, cows, uh, maize, and potatoes. His humble beginnings remain his motivation to be a fighter and provide for his family. For me now, if you come with the money, you can go to school to pay my brothers and sisters. Paula Radcliffe's women's record has withstood the test of time, standing for 12 years. Obviously I want it to stand, I want it to, to, to stay forever, but that's not going to happen, it will get beaten. And I think people say, oh, it's a long way, but then if you break it down to the amount per mile, it, it's, it's not that far. Meanwhile, the men's world record has been lowered and changed hands on three occasions in the last five years, with Cometo holding the record for just a mere seven months. Uh, it's changing me in my life. So I need now in my mind. Now we find ourselves at a unique intersection of two remarkable careers and two astounding athletes embarking on the same 26.2 mile journey, something we may not see again for quite some time. I mean, I think we're both definitely at different stages of, of the career. Um, he's probably got a chance of, of getting close to it again. I don't know if that's going to happen here, but um, he's not far away, whereas I'm probably a, a long way away. Um, so I think it, it's nice. I mean, we did actually run together in Holland uh, in a 15K back in December, and actually wasn't as far behind him as I thought I would be there, um, but I think I'll be a lot further behind <laughs> on Sunday. But it, it's nice to, to have that, and I think it, it's nice for London because it, it is iconic. It, it is kind of the, if you think about, certainly for me, if you think about marathons, it's London. So to have um, the world record holders and to have a great day and just to, to have some great racing out there, I think it's special and it happens in London.